Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today uh, we start a segment before so we are trying to get to know about those words, idioms and uh, phrases which related with the weather and basically I start the segment because of the speaking the second part, the cucumber part, it's uh, been a really tough because that's really simple when someone asks some questions you just need to answer the specific questions answer. But in a cue card session, you need to discuss a whole topic. While well, you have to keep in that mind, you have got just two minutes and then you need to organize it. You need to tell everything, whatever you want to tell. You need to present a good essay with organized, you know, orga like a well-organized essay. So that's part, it's, I feel it's really hard to discuss because uh, that's thing. Uh, we need to prove that we got a really good lexical resources we have. We got a group pronunciation skills as well as the fluency skills as we don't need we are not making any kind of grammatical mistakes at all so that's cue card section it's really hard so that's why uh, the most technique way to start or to learn the cue card or to pass the cue card session that's uh, you need to learn a bunch of vocabularies which is really important or related with the topic and which is really high, you know, high ranked vocabulary. And then you need to learn as much as idioms and phrases you can because idioms and phrases is already high ranked. And when you learn that, that means you are on another level of the uh, English uh, learning the English language. You are not as the beginners, not in an average level. You are just a pro kind of thing. So that is the most important. So that's why I start the segment where we're going to talk about the 30 speaking topics along with the uh, relatable topics, vocabulary, phrases, and idioms. So today, oh, we were in a weather last time. So today we're going to talk about the summer weather. So the summer basically is a really important weather in Bangladesh because basically we got that, the one weather we have. And another is winter, but it's a too short terms to describe something. But in summer, we got a lots of times, we are enjoying the times most of. So these things we can easily explain. So that's the problem. When someone asks us about the summer weather, we got a lot of things to say, but we can't say or can organize. So this vocabulary will help you to, you know, compromise your essay and tell uh, tell as much as you can in your essay. So phrases, idioms help you through that. And the vocabulary, which is related with a lots of words, but you can express it in one word. That's the vocabulary we got today. So let's focus on here that today we got a seven English words to describe the summer. So basically, uh, summer weather uh, got a lot of vocabulary. But today we're going to talk about the seven words that you can remember. And it, I will explain it and I will show it that how you can use it as an example in your uh, essay. So let's start the first thing. So the first is torrid. So torrid basically means uh, that very hot and dry weather. So when you're going to explain or you're going to start your essay that uh, summer is a very hot and dry weather. So it's a very typical one, typical way to start an essay uh, related with the summer. So you basically see that um, the summer is a torrid weather or the the weather of summer is, uh, is very torrid. That means it's a hot and dry. Okay, so examples like summer in India is torrid, or you can simply say summer in Bangladesh is torrid, or it was a torrid afternoon, it was a torrid morning, uh, basically afternoon related with the torrid best, so you can put on it before the afternoon, this is a good thing. So let's uh, move on to the next one, that's a muggy. So muggy means is hot and humid weather, so torrid means hot and dry weather, so when you explain hot and dry weather, you need to use the torrid word. When you need to use muggy, that means say humid and it's a hot weather. So the humid means it's just after the hot weather mixed with the, you know, the rainy season. So the thing uh, we can't tolerate, we feel very irritated, that type of weather we basically call the humid weather. So that you think that uh, use we got a we were we got a picnic last week and that the weather was a, uh, the weather was muggy that time so that means the weather was hot and humid so basically uh, you work compromise your sentences and use one word that's a very high ranked word so this kind of humidity causes irritation and a lot of sweating so look as I told you that what kind of 
a human situation you want to explain that's here so when you want to explain something that uh, irritates you or gives you lots of sweating problems that time you can use the weather is muggy okay so example you can simply use it was a muggy evening or it was a muggy evening last night simple you cannot use anyone anything any anywhere so the third thing here it's a beautiful and bright so summer uh, is really beautiful weather if you are in outside like the western country but even if it's here you, you can't feel that the beauty thing of it because we need to you know uh, face that humid weather around eight months or sometimes more than that but uh you can easily simply uh if you went a picnic and the weather is really good uh the you know the uh, wind is so slow so you can simply use that beautiful and bright that's a good thing like you are using a phrase so summer is a beautiful and bright these days are clear longer and everyone's out in a park so when you basically um, want to use in kind of parks or uh, any kind of picnic situation so you can simply say that yeah it's uh, that was a very beautiful and bright summer uh, and i we chose a good day to do the picnic so summer is my favorite season it's a beautiful and bright so beautiful and bright is a good side of summer so when you are tr presenting something good about the summer you can use simply use beautiful and bright the next thing is sweltering so sweltering means that the extreme level of hot along with the humid weather which is marked by sweating or even faintness so when you're gonna chat like talking about that the situation or the weather is a really really hot is a really really you know you cannot tolerate the weather sometimes you know april may this type of time this certain type of times uh, the the summer is a really high the heart is really high so on that type of situation you can simply say at the, the weather it's a sweltering in the basement or it's a sweltering summer day you know, someone can be faint it's really sweltering like it's the worst of a summer days next to the one is the golden so golden basically means when the sun is so bright and it feels like the gold uh it when it's uh, true you know it's true uh, uh you know something and it's come back with a reflection so that's type of thing you can say so the sun is so bright during the summer season that you can use the word golden to describe this weather colors can always be used to describe a particular weather the sun is golden at the park right now and of course when you're gonna say about something in a rainy day you can use the word a blue the sky is blue the sky is light but when you are going to uh, say something about the summer, you can simply use that um, as a golden. So this is a golden night, golden day, and the sun is golden at the park right now. Simple. Like next on to the uh, sixth one, that's serene and beautiful. So serene, we all know serene means is something very quiet, peaceful. When you can feel so quiet, you feel so peace that type of a uh, situation you can explain to the serene and beautiful means it's a beautiful you know what's mean so serene means calm and peaceful it also means an expansion of a clear sky so in the rainy season the sky uh, basically was in a black color and uh, you know it's a blur to see everything and in winter it's a blur to see but in just be, in just summer days, the sky was literally clear. We can see the you know skies. We can see the uh, the uh, little skies going over here and there. So summer days are usually serene, and serene days are beautiful. So serene days are beautiful because in a rainy season there always a world, you know the sounds of it, uh, sounds of the rains. And in the winter, um, I don't know what kind of sound we have, but in summer most of the time situation is very quiet clear we are all doing our own work or that sorts of things so you can simply say that uh, we uh, choose a good day for the picnic it was serene and beautiful the weather was serene and beautiful so this guy is serene and beautiful than usual so this is a good uh, good example so you can also use okay so the last thing is the scorching 
So that's the simple, the last one. We got it a bunch of our vocabularies here. So it means basically a very hot. So scorch, scorching, uh, sweltering, and the muggy and torrid. This thing, those things are exactly same meaning, but that's defined a slightly different different situation, different different weather the weather variation so you need to focus on that what kind of weather you are describing and what you want to you know use those words in here so scorching basically means a very hot it's a negative side of summer so when you are describing something negative you can use muggy torrid or scorching or sweltering so scorching and sweltering is basically a bad side of summer weather and muggy and torrid means how the summer looks like you were describing golden serene and beautiful and beautiful and bright those three is a really good to describe the summer weather in a good way it's like you like summer weather that's a weather it's the most favorite weather of yours so look it's a source is scorching summer days i don't want to go out in the scorching heat so look there are more than 100 words that can be used for a summer conversation. These seven words will basically help you to gain an age while talking or discussing about the hot weather. Add these words to your vocabulary and use them enough to make them a part of your active vocabulary. So the main thing uh, to reaching out the vocabulary or explaining something about the vocabulary is you must use your vocabulary in your everyday life. So when you are discussing with something, anything you are describing in a daily way, just try to use the words which you really learn and you want to learn and you want to remember in future because that's the most important thing to uh the important thing to learn the vocabulary we cannot just sit on a bunch of sit with a bunch of books and read out every words every single words and remember it memorize it that's not how vocabulary learning works you just need to use it in your daily life and basically this is how it will work in your life so here all we finish the thing we need to do that's just have an english words to describe the summer weather so i'll see you in the next lesson till then just practice those words in your daily life we'll come with the next things that will really helpful to be you know achieve the peak of your speaking levels that will give you a good lexical resources because you already know that how to use grammars you already know that how to use sentences uh, how to do not make any kind of grammatical mistakes but the things we don't know we need to know that's a technique then how we can use the thing inside us and present it in front of the someone who are giving us the marks that's the one thing and the second thing is lexical resources is a really important and uh, people most of the time saw it that how many words or how many different words you learn so when you were uh, trying something new and Letting the other person know that you know that words, they will think that you know lots of words. But that's not a thing that you know lots of words. You just literally know that some bunch of important words that give you the pick of a speaking test. That Q core part is a really most important of your exam as well as a tough one. If you if you don't know that how to organize it, if you don't know how to technically pass it. So, no, this is how we work. So, this is how we're going to start and we will finish after 30 speaking Q course topic. And I will try to reach out every single topic we, we got it in a speaking test. Don't worry about that. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next lesson. Till then, stay safe, stay happy and don't forget to be nice to each other. Thank you so much.